everybody. Welcome to Cooking with Mo and Deb. If Hello, you know everybody. I'm going to get my microphone <laughs> so you can hear my big fat mouth. <laughs> so, what's happening? What's happening is we're going to fry up some chicken tonight. <laughs> we're going to fry up some we're chicken. We're going to fry up some southern fried chicken. <laughs> so, you know, a lot of people are scared to fry chicken. I'm not scared of it, but I don't do it very often. Yeah. My mom well, does really good fried chicken, so yes. I guess most moms we usually just let her do it. Do and a lot of people are just afraid, like they try it and they can't get it just right, and so then they give up. But I, we want to show y'all how easy it really is to do good southern fried chicken. So I've got everything prepared here, and I want to show you what I've done. I've got about a cup of flour, just all-purpose flour. I put salt and pepper in it. And a little bit of this seasoning, because I like a little flavor in mine. This is urban onion. You can use whatever seasoning you want. You want to use seasoned salt or whatever. Yeah. Or you can just use salt and pepper. Either one. And then over here, I've got one egg and about a half a cup of uh, milk. So that, a lot of people dip their chicken in milk, and then they dip it in egg, and then, you know... So I'm like, let's just cut out the middle, man, <laughs> and just put it in one <laughs> dish and just have to mess up one. So um, I've got my chicken cut up in kind of small pieces, and this is boneless, skinless. And so, that'll help it to cook a little bit quicker because yes. it's smaller pieces. And I, I noticed um, I made sure I got the thin sliced when I was at uh, Costco the other day. Oh, you did? You found mm -hmm. some thin sliced it chicken? It says thin <gasps> sliced, and oh. it definitely is. See how thin they are? I like that. You yes. don't have to cut them in. Okay. See? Yes. They're thin. So you don't have to cut them in half. Right. right? So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is turn on my skillet, and I'm going to turn it on high. Now, I wanted to talk to y'all about oil. Um, you know how expensive everything's getting yeah, at the grocery store. It is. Everything. So, oil is going up, y'all. And for a long time, I never would reuse my oil. If I fried some potatoes or something like that, I would just pour out my oil. Now, the old folks, back in the day, they always kept their oil. And they used it and used it and used it until it got, you know, really. Got Mom nasty. would have a bowl. Uh, every time we had bacon or any things like that with grease, mm -hmm. we just added it to that bowl on yes. the stove, and it right. stayed there. Right. And then when we're she's going to fry something else, mm -hmm. dip from that. Yes. And you strain it with your little strainer, and, and it's fine to use it again. So this is some oil that I had uh, used to fry some potatoes in the other night. And so I'm just going to pour it in here. This looks like about a cup, doesn't it, Deb? And you kind of want your, don't you, you tell me, you want more oil in this, in your pan when you're frying chicken because you, you want it yeah, to kind of, you do, close up, uh, envelop the chicken. You want you the chicken to sit do. down in it. Um, I'm going to add just a little more oil to it. Deb, talk well. amongst yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> we forgot to wear our aprons today. <laughs> But uh, I have made fr uh, fried chicken, but it's not something that I regularly do. So I'm very excited to see how Mo makes her fried chicken. Yeah. There ain't nothing special to it, I tell you that. I think it's one of those things that the more you do, the better you get at it. Um, you just practice right. makes, you, makes it better. So I'm um, going to let my oil get hot here. But meanwhile, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and dip my chicken. Dip my chicken. First so I'm dipping egg. it first in the egg mixture and kind of letting it drip. Then I'm going to dip it in my flour. Do you have a special way of knowing when your oil is ready? Um, you can see it kind of bubbling up. Kind of bubbling. You know, and, um, and try not to put your chicken in there before the oil is good and hot. Yeah, you need to let your make pan your get warmed chicken up. chicken a little bit greasy. So that's what we're going to do first. We're going to go ahead and put our egg batter on, and then we're going to dredge in flour. And I like a lot of flour on mine. I so do. I, it makes a lot of crust. Yes, we it? like that crust. Yeah. You know, we don't have skin on this chicken, um, but we're going to have lots of crust. Just like Kentucky anyway. Fried Chicken. I love their crunchy, Ooh. the crunchy chicken. Y'all have yes. a Kentucky Fried Chicken. I haven't eaten there in forever either. Yes. But 
Um, they have I good fried it. chicken. We actually ate there. My granddaughter they, loves Kentucky fried she? chicken. Yes, we asked her where she wanted to go. She was with me, Mo and Papa. And she said, Kentucky fried chicken. So that's where we went. Uh -huh. And I, I like the white meat. The I best. do too. I'm I, not a big dark meat I'm person. I'm not either at all. Many people are, though, and they love yeah, chicken thighs. Yeah, a lot thighs of people or, are. So I'm sure you could, if you do like the um, dark meats, you could do chicken thighs the mm -hmm. same way. Yep. Uh, you could even use um, chicken with bones. That's usually what we had, what mom would right. make. Was, and that's what we always had, too. We yeah. never had boneless uh -uh. anything. Uh -uh. You know, everything had the bone in it. We, we would, um, you know, our plate, the, she'd fire, fry up all the chicken. Mm -hmm. There'd be a couple of large chicken breasts, some yep. thighs. Wings yeah, and, the and legs. Yeah, and back then were not large. No, they, they weren't were giant like what we have. <laughs> <laughs> they were small, but boy, but, we we loved that. We didn't usually get those. That's kids no, they, had to get the legs. That's what I was about to say. Wings, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I was about to say exactly that. Us kids would get the yes. wings and the yes. legs, which that's okay. I didn't mind. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't mind, mind it either. It was all legs. good, you know. Oh yeah. I think that's ready, Deb. If you want to take these tongs. And just start these placing tongs. those I've got ready. These tongs. <laughs> just start placing those I've got ready. Oh, yeah. It's uh, sizzling. It's so sizzling. Let's put it so it's around ready. the edge, Deb, because we got a lot of chicken to pile in that pan. Okay. <coughs> it heated up pretty quick, didn't it? Yeah. I've got my, I've got the, <coughs> uh, it's got Excuse an me. outer ring on my stove, and uh -oh. I've got that outer ring turned on gotcha. so it'll get hot quicker. Gotcha. We can turn it off here in a minute. Yeah, this is going to be so good. It is going to be good. And so when you're done with it, you can either, you know, fix you some side um, sides to go with it, some creamed potatoes, and maybe some white gravy and biscuit. Oh, That'd yeah. be good. Really good. Be fattening, but it'd be good. But a lot of times we like to cut it up and, um, and do uh, salads with mm. fried chicken yeah. tenders fried on chicken it. Fried chicken salads. Yeah. Gonna, will the pan hold all this? Yeah, it will. Just cram okay. it in there, Dam. And this is a messy job. It is a messy I job. I think that's I another reason I don't make it <laughs> or try time. it as often because it is a little bit messy. But you know what? It can be cleaned mm -hmm. up. That's not a big deal. It can definitely be cleaned up. Now, are we going to leave this for a certain amount of time? or? Okay, so what we're going to do, Mo's going to wash her hands <laughs> and get this yuck off. And um, we're going to turn it down. Not yet. Okay. But in a minute, we're going to turn it down. We're going to let it get going real good. Then we're going to decrease Nailed the um, temperature to about medium. Okay. We're going to put a lid on it. And then we'll, we'll let it fry for about seven or eight minutes. And okay. see if it's ready to turn over. Well, it is smelling really good in here. Yeah, I like to grill uh, fried chicken uh, on salad, fried chicken salad, or a biscuit with piece of fried chicken in it. Great ways to. I do too. To, I do too. A lot of chicken. times when we're not so much worried about our diet, we'll do fried chicken, uh, biscuits, and white gravy. And usually just because I feel guilty, I'll fix some green beans or something. That's <laughs> <laughs> cancel some out one of those, right? Yeah. <laughs> But, man, that is some good eating. <laughs> Fried chicken, and then you use the grease of the chicken to make the, the gravy. Um, the gravy. Oh, gosh. That's so good. good. So good. Sounds good. So we're going to let this fry for a little bit, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys. Our chicken is ready to be turned over. Look how pretty that's frying up. Oh, that does look great. It's got a little color. brown in the middle. That's Okay. They look good to me. The color looks great. So how many minutes was this? That was only long. about five minutes. Yeah. But you know what? I had I had that. I forgot to turn off that outer ring. So oh. it got a little bit hotter <laughs> than I normally get it. But it's good. It's all good. It looks yummy. Yes, it does. So that we just, just, we just got to let it get brown. So we're going to, I've turned it down. I've turned that outer ring off so it won't, <laughs> <laughs> it won't cook so fast. It's better to cook it slower. That way you know your insides are getting good and done. You don't yeah. want your outside to get all done and then your insides still right. be raw. No. So <laughs> that's never a good thing. No. So we'll be back in a few minutes and show you the final product. We'll be right back. Okay, my fried chicken loving friends. It's done. It is ready 
to take up. It's got a beautiful brown color on it. So here, Ooh. here you go. And I've got a plate with some paper towels doubled in it to drain this grease because we don't want it swimming in grease when we eat it, though. It but looks look how pretty, great. Y'all. I don't know if you can see that good. It's pretty. I'll bring the plate over there. The um the egg mixture helps that flour to stay on there really good. So how long did did they cook after you flipped them? Was it um, been ten minutes maybe? Well, I did turn it down a little more, and then I'll just let them cook a little slower. So it's probably been 10 minutes, I think. Here's a good close-up view of that beautifully browned fried, fried chicken. Mm-mm-mm. Chicken. That looks so great. Mm-hmm. We're going we're to let it cool off a minute, and then we're going to do a taste test. Be right back. Okay, you guys, Deb and I are going to do the big taste test. Stop, stop, stop. Now, okay, it's time for a taste test of the, the fried chicken. You ready, Deb? Yes, I'm ready. Let's have a bite. Mm-mm, boy, that looks good. Look at the inside. It's good and tender inside, y'all. And lots of good flaky, crunchy on the outside. Wow. Mm. Comfort food. That's what I was about to say. Mm -hmm. Good comfort food. And better than Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all, it's so good. And the Armani, kid wants Armani's to taste. head is right here, y'all. He wants a taste test. He said, let me taste test it. <laughs> mm. It's good, y'all. Don't be afraid to make your own. No, you can. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. I wanted to <laughs> let y'all know. I will not be saving this grease, this oil, because it is all nasty now. So what I normally do is I save jars, like pickle jars, like this is a pickle jar. I save the pickle jar. I pour my bad grease in the pickle jar, screw the lid on, and just drop it in the trash. That's yeah, that way, a great way to get know, rid of it. You don't have to take it outside and pour it out. Mm -hmm. You just pour it back in this little pickle jar, put the lid on. Great idea. Good, good, little tip, hack. good kitchen tip. It right. is a good kitchen. Kitchen tip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Make you some fried chicken. Bye. Bye.